everybody. It is time to meal prep. Mm. I have my water bottle full of seltzer. Hey, I'm running a little bit late. I said I was gonna start at two, but everybody's here. So we're just gonna go with it and it's okay. So um, what I did to start is I empty out my fridge of all of the produce and I took out two proteins last night. I took out a kilo of salmon and a whole chicken so that they would be defrosted. And the whole chicken will be for dinner tonight. And the salmon will go for, for its lunches in the week or like other random protein. And then I'm making two soups. Uh, one is a red bean chili and one is a three lentil split pea soup. And so those will basically cover lunches um, for the rest of the week. And then we'll just be able to do like an egg meal or like a tuna fish meal. And it can be really easy for the rest of the week. And uh, this is, I try to do, I'm giving this two hours. Whatever I get done in two hours, or really an hour and 45 minutes because I started late. That's all that's happening. So I'm going to show you kind of all my hacks and like some veggie prep. So like today I had this yummy salad with roasted eggplant on it. So that's easy when you have the lettuce washed in advance and you know all those things done in advance. So hold on. I'm going to do just for tonight's dinner one of my favorite hacks and that is putting the rice under the chicken in the pan, right? So this is like real life. Like you can hear my kids are having, they finished Zoom school hey, for the day. Hey, Mimi, are you here to help? Yeah. Awesome. Where's the phone? Right behind you. Uh -huh. Hey. Okay, Mimi, can you put, this is a half cup measuring cup. It's math time. Can you please put two cups of rice in here and one cup of the brown rice okay. in here. So if this is a half and you need two cups, how many do you need? A whole. You need a whole one? Yes. How many times do you need a whole one? <laughs> one and a half. That would be one and a half cups of rice. <laughs> this is so important for Zoom school right now. <laughs> this is a half a cup. I want two cups of rice. How many of these do you need? Four. Excellent. Amazing. Woo! Uh, you do that, and I'm going to grab the seasoning. We're just going to get some pepper, some salt. You got it? Okay. Just into the pan, salt, a little pepper. I thought you were going to put on this. Do you want yellow rice? Yellow rice. Yellow rice. They really love it when it's yellow. Which means turmeric and I'm just gonna do like a generous two tablespoons amazing and then one cup which is how many of those two of the brown rice what of the brown rice in it two. yeah two what brown rice? because you don't notice when I mix it together it gives it a better texture don't tell me. Don't, <laughs> don't tell. I know, right? I can't help it. You're in the kitchen. You know the secrets. Now you're, now you're in the know. Don't tell anybody else. Mm. Yeah, like mustard. We have a secret mustard joke in our family that there are people who think they don't like mustard. She puts it in everything. I don't know what you're talking about. Not in this house. Okay. Get a Ziploc for this, please. Awesome. And then literally, I have the whole chicken here. Um, I always rinse it off really well, just because that's how my dad taught me how to do it. And then, gonna put no, no, we have a whole box. Okay, whole chicken goes inside. Wash hands. Uh, maybe put the dish soap on my hands. Right there. Um, and then I'm going to put in an entire head of garlic right. mm -hmm. into the chicken and basically season the top and that's going to go in the oven and dinner will be done and cooking while I meal prep. Okay. 
so like when I'm exhausted from, I always do the next meal first because when I'm done meal prepping, the last thing, actually I think I'm gonna do a half of a head of garlic because this is a really big head. Can you put this in the, the brown rice in the cabinet now that you put in the bag, please? No, it doesn't go in that cabinet, it goes in the other cabinet. Uh, okay. So I'm gonna do garlic. Yeah, you're welcome to have a piece of gum. By the way, if you don't know me, that's like my hack for not snacking while I cook is I always have my water bottle here and I keep packages of gum in all kind of the cabinets that I would be going into for food prep. So again, like if I feel like picking at something, I just put a piece of gum in my mouth and I always start by ha eating lunch first or whatever meal before I'm food prepping would be a meal so that I'm full and not hungry. So taking care of myself today before I take care of future self. Same reason I prep the dinner before I start into any other food prep so that, hey, you know what, if I don't finish everything, it's not the end of the world. I can always do more food prep another day. But if I've done all the food prep and then I have no energy for dinner, then I have totally undermined the entire part. We need paprika. Thank you. This is magic salt. This makes everything good. Um, in this, that cabinet right there. No, it's actually right over there. Sorry. I have like a, a shelf of spices that like I use constantly that are just out. Over there. Okay, this a is- A lot of paprika. A lot of paprika. Okay. There you go. And now again, Wash my hands a lot. I'm gonna rub the paprika into the top of the whole chicken. I want to grab the kum kum, you don't have to, and then pour that water in on the chicken. It's gonna go in the oven and it's done. Dinner is done. This well? Mm-hmm. But it was washing it. Well we're not washing, it's for the rice, really, to cook the rice. But you put it on the stove. Amazing. Now put the cover on here. And this is done. This can go. And I'm just giving it a shake so all that turmeric that's going to make it nice and yellow from the bottom is also going to be there. And I'm gonna cook that for like an hour-ish um, at 200 Celsius. Okay, time to do soup. We're gonna use this pot and this pot. Okay, we have a lentil soup pot and chili pot. We're making chili? Um, yeah, Daddy wanted the red bean chili with the cheese and the Doritos. Yummy. So we're going to switch over to milk and cutting board. Milk and knife. Milk and peeler. Okay, all set. I'm peeling. What? I don't peel. You're going to peel? No, I, I said I don't peel. I don't peel. You don't peel. Oh, really? She doesn't peel. So last time I made red beans, I froze um, a package, and you can also use frozen red beans for this, which is really good. I do also so make now. this chili um, meaty, but we also really like it. Can you pick those up the floor? We also really do like it, a par of though, and then serve it with a little bit of melted cheese, and also I get like one bag of Doritos that they can crush up into it instead of like croutons, which everybody likes. So basically we're just gonna do a lot of vegetable chopping now. I don't know how to chop. You don't know how to chop? You wanna learn? I wanna I want a lot of chopping so you can cake. You wanna think about the birthday cake? She's so excited about her birthday this week. Okay. Tomorrow. Yeah, this week. This week tomorrow. This week tomorrow and the next day. And the next day. And then it's to be Shvat. Okay. 
So this is my super awesome way to cut a pepper and not have any messy seeds on your... You'll peel carrots, right? Can you peel no, me two peel. carrots? You can peel me two carrots. I can cut and you can peel. So Mimi, what's your favorite soup that I make? Dome. Orange soup? And also uh, chicken soup. No, chicken soup is da my daddy. Eh, daddy. When daddy makes it, so chicken soup. No offense. It's okay. And for your soup is orange soup and tomato soup. Ah, you also like lentil split peas? No, I don't like it anymore. Anymore? No, I don't like it. Okay, I want to watch teach you how to do this since we're here. Um, keep the top of the knife down and do the sliding motion. With a little knife, you pick it up and move it. Try it with this piece of pepper. Let me see you do it. No, no. No, first you cut it. No, first you do. And then you move it and then you go. Move your fingers. Get it? Now you try this one. Just give you another little tip. You see here, you gotta push. You gotta use all your your muscles from those workouts. <laughs> okay. Can you grab me a charger for my phone? Okay, guys. I'm gonna quickly put this through. Also, um, when I'm making a lot of soups and I'm doing meal prep, I am not going to pre-saute all these vegetables. Okay. Sure. If I'm just making one meal and it's very very leisurely leisurely <laughs> leisurely you know my kids are in school like normal non-pandemic human beings great i'll saute all these vegetables and it really doesn't need it i'll come out great without doing that and i'll have like a bunch of meals done so i can actually like be with these children who are home all the time instead of just having to worry about when i'm cooking dinner and lunch and every other meal in between a million times a day because they're hungry oh you know what you would be great we're almost out of energy bites do you want to make those while i do all the chopping and yeah yeah because you guys ate them all that we made last week okay. make the ones that are without chocolate the ones that are without chocolate the one they made this one Okay, get the peanut butter out of the fridge. And look and see if the flax seed is in the freezer. What is that? I don't think I'm not sure I want to make it. I don't want to know what's in it. You don't want to know what's in it. No. <laughs> oh. Kids. This is almost done. So this recipe is two cans of red beans. If you were using canned red beans, I used frozen ones I'd made previously. Uh, two red peppers, two to three green peppers. And again, like whatever I had, I'd use. So if I had three red and two green, it wouldn't really matter. Two carrots. And this is so important, like to really veggies most this because that's what gives it all the flavor and really is gonna make this like a complete meal. Whether it's for, you know, usually we'd serve this with lunch. Okay. And I have some hot pepper too. I'm gonna add one of those without the seeds. Or I may just put it on the side. My husband really likes it spicy. The kids. Like, would much rather just add sriracha. We're a big sriracha family. Guys, can you put the YouTube commercials down, please? Yeah. Okay. This was a gigantic pepper, so I think we're actually only going to use two of them. Here we go. 
So if you guys have any questions about meal prepping, we're here, right? Go ahead, ask away. I'd love to hear your questions. To me, meal prepping is about convenience and about like not being wasteful. You know, I'd like to have a fridge full of vegetables, but that means that, you know, before I go to the grocery store on Wednesday, I really want to have used up a good amount of what I have in the house. And that means being, you know, having the experience of making enough food, enough healthy food for enough time to be able to adjust recipes based on what I have in the house. How is it for you? Are you guys more, um, I'm doing this so that it will help me in my, you know, physique or weight loss goals. Or are you like me where really meal prep is about making good choices more convenient and sustainable, not wasting money on um, food that like I really want to feel excellent about buying and I don't feel good about food that like goes to waste. It bothers me. And so I don't mind throwing away food I don't want to eat if I know that like I've really in general made an effort in my life to, to be, to use what I have in a smart way. Okay, so now here we're just missing an onion and two cloves of garlic. And I'll show you how it's seasoned the chili. And we'll move on to uh, lentil soup. I have a really good hack for that. I also I love to use one of these empty veggie baskets for garbage so that it helps to cut down on the cleanup. Knife skills, like YouTube it. It is critical to be able to make healthy, delicious food quickly and easily knife skills really good sharp chef's knife i have like multiple multiple cutting boards so that you know if one's in the sink it's not gonna stop me okay here we go Two cloves of garlic, onion. This pot is full. It's time to season it. So, my seasonings for chili are let's go. Okay. Get a spoon out so I can tell you because usually I honestly just eyeball it. So, one, two tablespoons of sweet paprika. One, two tablespoons of cumin. Just a few shakes of hot spicy paprika, which would be like chili powder. A good amount of the pink Himalayan sea salt a little bit of black pepper, and one, a can of the already seasoned uh, crushed tomatoes. And this is a really great one. You wanna look for ones that are like this, have um, like almost no salt. See, this has almost no salt, it has no preservatives or other unnatural things in it, no added fat. It's literally just tomatoes blended up with basil. And I'll do one cup, like a eight, this is 800 grams. So that's like four cups. A little under, and then I'm gonna do, fill up the can with water from the sink and just pour that on top, and that's exactly the right amount for this pot. Give it a little stir here, and then I'm just gonna put it on the fire. And let it cook down. So we are two meals in, 
in like 15 minutes. Pretty awesome, right? Meal prep does not have to be overwhelming. Okay, let's put this up. Whoa. Oh. There we go. Start it on high and then it will go down to simmer. So, a few of my hacks for lentil soup is I love this blend, this village blend. Um, it is three different kinds of lentils and mung beans, and it's really good and it makes amazing soup, and I mix that with split peas. So in terms of your gut health, in terms of feeling amazing, this is going to rock your world because the bigger variety of plant foods that we eat, the healthier our gut is, and the more immunity we have, the better we feel. One tablespoon or a cap of olive oil in the bottom of the pot. And for this soup, we're gonna use one fennel, two light green eggplant, um, zucchini, a dark zucchini, a big one, and two carrots and we're going to get started with that so i'm going to peel the carrots first so i can just get into like straight up dicing here and hold on i'm going to lose you guys if i don't plug in my phone so what is meal prep like for you guys are you like sitting here with a list of recipes and you need to know exactly what to do i mean i've been cooking for a long time so even when i started healthy cooking i feel pretty at home in the kitchen but that was not the case you know when i first started when i first started cooking um, i definitely was not as confident in the kitchen and i definitely had a lot more recipes around me. But the more experience you have, like really, there's no, ah, hold on, I figured, figure it out here for a second, how to have a charge with an iPhone, you know, from the bottom and not fall over. This is cutting into my precious cooking time. Not cool. Not cool, iPhone. We're gonna just put something here to maybe hold them in place. Awesome, you're at a little bit of an angle, but you don't mind. Okay, I lost my group. Here's the peeler. Here's the peeler. I'm gonna quickly peel these carrots. <sighs> and this is what I call strategic screen time. You know, they just finished up all their work for the day. They're gonna go outside in a few minutes. And I thought they were gonna help me, but you know what? If they're allowed to have like educational screen time here, like fun games, not, um, not TV watching now. So I'm gonna call that a win. No judging if your kids are screen free and I'm not judging you if your kids are on Netflix. That's the deal. Okay. We're each gonna make do the best that we can. Seriously, don't be intimidated by using a big knife. Big knife is for big meal prep. So carrots into the pot. zucchini don't need to peel these as long as you wash them and this is going to be a pureed soup so i don't need to waste time like trying to cut these too small
Here we go. One of the nice things about like a pureed lentil split pea soup is really that like you don't have to do a lot of little dicing for sure. They washed these, but these don't look washed enough to me. Do that again. And then fennel, I always like to wash again after I've cut it open, just because I mean, there can be sand or dirt or stuff on the inside between the fronds, and you can only really get in there after you've cut it open. Okay. Here we go. So we did not like fennel. Fennel was a no-go on this list, and we just kept getting it week after week after week in our farm box until we found out that we actually like it in soup. It has a totally different taste, and uh, we actually really like it pureed in soup. Okay, is that... I'm gonna cut that off. And you go all the way up the ends. Whole thing, and I just... The tip I leave off. So easy. And this will be another lunch already, like, almost done. Just has to sit on the stove. In the summer, I can't get away with really making soups. Um, but in the winter, especially during Corona, it's really, really a lifesaver. Okay. Here we go. Two cloves of garlic. Oh, it looks like it's going to be three because they're less. Okay. Yeah, I know you could like shake the garlic and they have all these real fancy schmancy hacks. But, um, I don't know. I feel like once I'm already here at the cutting board, having to go get a bowl to shake it up in seems like it takes a lot longer than just peeling off the skin after you give it a good smash. Don't forget to smash your garlic. It's what releases all the oil and the flavors and just chopping it doesn't do it the same way. So it's actually really important to smash your garlic. And that's a non-scale victory. That is a non-scale victory is having the strength to smash your own garlic. Okay. That was pretty fast. Again, because I'm making two soups, I don't want to use like my super big soup pot or that I would do for one. Just not worth it. Otherwise, I'll have too much soup around. And if it, there's too much soup, then my kids start hating soup again. So I'm doing one cup of this three lentil mix and one cup of split peas. Awesome. Now, the seasoning for this soup is a little bit different. I need to actually go in some spice cabinets and uh, get out some things. So we're gonna do dill. Uh, one spoon, one tablespoon of dill. That's in one place. And we're gonna do a tablespoon of dried rosemary and a tablespoon of dried basil. Okay. Really be generous with your spices. That's what makes food taste good. No, not any of these. Hold on. Need my handy dandy kitchen stool. Okay, let's see what we got here. 
Anything else I want to add? Hmm. I think that's good and for good, actually. I think we are good. Okay, we're going to take out for the Energy Bite snack. Also, gluten free oats. on video, not to you, sweetie. Oh. Mm. I didn't know. You were talking to me. The snacks doesn't like, Nope. Um, okay. And then I really like this soup mix. So for the lentil soup, this is the one I would use. And I would use three tablespoons. Two. Three. Okay. Two soups are done. I'm gonna take a sec and resettle here what's happening. Okay. You can take a look. Ah, take a look. At least that fell right by the sink. Okay. Putting this on the stove. That's super annoying, but at least literally like it spilled right next to the sink. So easy to clean up. Okay. You guys are going somewhere here. Hi. Let's keep cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Okay, so, so far, we did Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay, so, so far, we did we did um, chicken with rice. We did two soups and it's only been 30 minutes, so we're doing amazing on time. Now, I'm gonna show you my last half that's super important. And that is, I have too many extra veggies this week. So while I'm already making soups, I'm gonna make a freezer bag of soup for next week. Because there's no way I have, I got way too much zucchini and kohlrabi in my farm box. So there's no way I'm going to use it. Um, there's just not enough time to use it before it's going to spoil. So I'm going to put away the lent extra lentils and the cookies. Here. And I'm going to put the zucchini and kohlrabi later tonight in the Ziploc bag. And I'm just going to leave it out on my counter for another time for another recipe and have that be all ready to cook for another time. Okay. Now we're gonna do the salmon. Okay. So. I have here a kilo of fresh salmon. I'm gonna get a baking paper here. Baking paper makes cleanup so much easier. 
And here we go. We got this gorgeous, fresh salmon here that I'm gonna lay out on the baking sheet. And I always have them pre-cut it into single serving portions. And even for some of my little kids, some of these are like two serving portions, but they're a single serving portion for me or the big kids or my husband. So it just makes it easier. Especially because this is like to add to my random salads for lunches or on the side of one of those soups um, on a day that I feel like I need like a heavier lunch or if somebody doesn't like what's being served for dinner, this would be all of that. Okay. You missed me. I can see you missed me. Okay. I also have a ton of lemons, fresh lemons from the farm basket that we get. So I'm just sprinkling. Oh my goodness. I'm just sprinkling. Okay. So I'm just sprinkling it with the kosher salt, that amazing thick, coarse pink Himalayan sea salt, a little bit of black pepper, tiny bit, not a lot. Then, so, and then I'm adding also a little bit of nutritional yeast. If you've never cooked with this, um, it tastes like, has like a faint reminiscence of Parmesan cheese. Don't expect it to actually be Parmesan cheese. But if you like Parmesan cheese, you might like this. And I actually discovered, I put it in soup, anything kind of, I wanted to have that still kind of umami, creamy taste thing. And it's really, really good for you. So I put this on the salmon. And then a little bit of dill. Dry dill. And lots of fresh lemon juice. And when the chicken gets out of the oven, I will cook this. We are almost done with meal prep here, guys. The last thing is my kids' snack. They love having energy bites in the freezer that they know that, like, between meals or, you know, and they want an afternoon snack, they can go get. And we made two Bishvat ones. You could check on my YouTube channel for last week's meal prep that we did together. And the kids rolled it. Mimi, I'm gonna make the batter, but you are rolling the energy bites. Okay. Awesome. Okay. So, we're gonna start with about a fourth of a cup of all natural peanut butter. And you could use almond butter, you can use sun butter. Don't really matter. Okay. Then we're gonna put in about one cup of, I'm using gluten-free oats, and I use the quick cooking. And then I'm gonna do about a fourth of a cup of the wider oats so that you have like different looks and textures, which is really nice this way. I'm running out of space here. Hold on. Clearing the decks. Okay. Good. Then I'm going to add also about one fourth cup of honey. Okay. A pinch of that magical salt. And now I'm gonna add a half a cup of whole almonds. Hold on. 
I'm going to wash off this cutting board. Nobody wants oniony, vegetable-y cutting board for their nuts. And like I said, it's good to have a variety of cutting boards. And I'm going to use a smaller cutting board for the nuts. And these are no bake, so it makes it super simple. Everybody's fine. No one's yelling. Happy, happy. Okay. Here we go. So I'm just chopping up roughly the almonds. If you have like, it is Bensie's homework, guys. So back off. This is not his homework. So okay, but you don't. He don't need him to I tell him no. My homework. You finished your homework. Second part of the almonds. My littlest uh, is turning five like in a week, so I'm not. I'm really not worried about him choking on a little piece of almond and energy bite, but chop them to your desired here, or you can buy already chopped, but what's the point of that? Here we go. Okay. Now, we get out the ingredient my daughter didn't want to go about. Why? I don't know. And that's flaxseed. So I buy it unground and then I grind it right when I'm going to use it. So it only takes a second. Grind it up in my blender. Make sure your blender is dry. I'll just wash this part. And I'm adding half a cup of the ground flaxseed. Now you could add dried fruit. Sometimes we add dried fruit. I took out some of the special sweetened um, apricots that we got and I decided I'm actually not gonna add them because they're sweetened and we don't usually buy sweetened ones but we got them for two bishvat and that's already enough of a treat. So instead, So instead, I'm gonna add this 81% dark chocolate and I'm gonna just chop it up and I froze it first so that the it'll like chop into these little kind of slivers and chunks that I can stir in. They're almost like shavings. And this lowers the added sugar in this to have it be something that is balanced and healthy and I don't mind them eating. Um, you know, maybe even between meals or, you know, just they're come out of Zoom and they have like Zoom fatigue and want something to eat. This, this is like a really nice kind of grabbable, feels like a treat thing. Okay, I smell the soups boiling. I wish you could be here and smell them. I'm gonna turn them down to simmer as soon as I fold this in. And here we go. Mimi, can you come here, please? Yes. Awesome. And there you go. Okay. What happened to the floor? Hmm? Nothing. Can you um, stir? Can you stir this up for me and then roll it into balls, please? Yeah. Thank you. 
you can put them right on here. Oh, wow. Actually, I'll put give them to you. Hold on, sorry, I'm just not going to you. I'm actually going to give you a container. You can put them straight into the container because there are no big. Well, why does it assume on the floor? I spilled a few on the floor. A few. I know that you, I know that you could figure that out. <laughs> okay. I'll sweep it up when I'm done. Okay. Let's see, I think that's it. We did salmon, we did two soups, we did chicken with rice. Ah, the only thing I did, and, and a snack. The only thing I did not do was last few weeks I've been really enjoying having acorn squash with my breakfast, with my eggs instead of toast, or in my salad sometimes. And they didn't have acorn squash, but they had this amazing delicata squash. So I thought I would just cut this up and roast that in the oven. And then I am really done with all the food prep. But then I'm gonna talk about my cake. Have an amazing day, guys. I've kept you here long enough. I'm gonna finish this up, get it in the oven. Let me know how you enjoyed this and if you would like me to meal prep with you on another Monday.